Hello, my name is Brianna Munoz, Director of Communications here at Ethics Entertainment, and today I will be providing you with a preview on our crisis communication plan. So here is a brief overview of what we'll be discussing today. I will be going over the purpose of this plan. I will introduce you to our crisis communication team and our spokesperson, along with their contact info and the responsibilities of each member. I will also go over the holding statement as part of this plan, which is the expectations of our employees when dealing with the media and public, and our internal communications procedure, which is our dedicated platforms of communication during a crisis. I will also go over our key messages, which is what we want the public to know and what we want to keep in mind during this time, and the maintenance of our plan, which will include the timeline for any updates or changes. So in a nutshell, the purpose of this plan is to provide a detailed strategy for us to follow during a company crisis. Given the current difficulties being faced by our company's CEO, Daniel Miller, we hope that this plan can address internal and external communication needs before the situation and our company's reputation worsens. CEO Miller has faced difficulties in his leading role following a fatal car accident he was involved in and issues in his personal life. We hope that this plan can help our company address our most valued resource, our, our supporters. This plan will allow us to communicate with them in a timely and effective manner during critical times. Here's a look at our crisis communication team, and we hope that this team can help carry out appropriate and timely actions during a crisis. So first we have Director of Communications, which would be myself, Brianna Munoz, and you can see my email and phone number if you'd like to jot that down. And essentially my role, will, my role will be to develop communication strategies, facilitate communications across the company, and ensure that ethics entertainment team members are well informed on crisis management efforts. Next, we have our Director of Community Relations and our spokesperson, Kimberly Lopez. Um, you can find her email and phone number on the screen. And her role will be to ensure transparency with clients, consumers, and other vital community members to uphold positive relationships during a crisis. And as I mentioned, she will serve as our spokesperson to address the public and the media. Next, we have our Director of Investor Relations, Derek Stevens. You can find his email and phone number on the screen. And um, he will be responsible for communicating with stakeholders and other investors on the financial impacts and efforts being made during this time. Our Director of Marketing, Nicole Campos, can be reached um, with, by email or phone number. And her role will be to utilize social media and messaging channels to create timely and consistent updates to our followers during a crisis. Last but not least, we have our legal counsel, Fred Thompson. His email and phone number are on the screen. And essentially, he will provide input on legal risks, actions, and nuances um, that can arise during a crisis and just help lead our team with anything we need help understanding. So next we have our holding statement, which is how we expect our team members to respond when approached by the media or the public with any questions, just to ensure we're on the same page. So given the recent actions of our CEO, Daniel Miller, uh, we believe that Mr. Miller's actions do not represent ethics entertainment's values, and we apologize to those that are upset and disturbed by his acts. As a result of the difficulties being faced by Mr. Miller, we have made the decision to demote him from his role as CEO, and he has been placed on a mental health leave, leave of absence to allow him to process and recover from the recent turmoil. The mental health and well-being of our employees is of the utmost importance at Ethics Entertainment. We are committed to providing a safe, healthy, and welcoming environment for our team members, and we hope to provide a space for them to collaborate and thrive as a leader in the music industry. We ask that you please respect the highly sensitive nature of Mr. Miller's incident and his family during this time and refer any questions directly to our spokesperson. So as far as our internal communications procedure, our main communication platform will be email, VR Ethics Entertainment email, and we will also have Zoom conference meetings as needed. Um, our secondary platforms will be Slack, an instant messaging program, along with phone calls and text via our work phones. Employees are expected to check emails regularly to see if any changes have been made to the plan or any updates are needed. So our first key message is, Ethics Entertainment continues to meet the highest music, business, and integrity standards. We strive to be an honest and transparent company that others can trust. Despite the difficulties being faced by our CEO, Daniel Miller, 
We are working towards providing quality music and communications to our stakeholders, listeners, customers, clients, and supporters. We are committed to having integrity in everything we do so that our supporters know that they are in good hand, good hands. Ethics Entertainment will take responsibility and make difficult choices as long as they are guided by high standards and integrity. Key message number two. We successfully compete in the music market, not the workplace. So what this means is Ethics Entertainment works to create a positive, welcoming, and supportive environment for its employees, free from discrimination, competitiveness, and conflicts. Although CEO Miller is currently not equipped to remain in his role, our company is committed to providing support and resources to allow him to focus on his emotional well-being. Despite the difficulties of a leadership transition, this will serve in Ethics Entertainment's best interests. Our goal is to create a unified and healthy team that is focused on collaborating with one another to work towards the company's success in creating music. Key message number three, Ethics Entertainment always puts its listeners, artists, and stakeholders first. Our success as a leading music company means nothing without the help of our customers, employees, stakeholders, and artists. Without their efforts, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Ethics Entertainment is committed to delivering the utmost service, communication, and transparency to artists, fans, customers, and communities, even during a crisis or times of uncertainty. Our stakeholders help directs our decisions and leads us to success, which is why they deserve honest and open communication. It is our responsibility to keep everyone in the loop and not let our supporters down. Our fourth key message is that ethics entertainment can be trusted. Even during a crisis, we want to be reliable and trustworthy. Although our company was faced with a dilemma, we are committed to taking responsible actions. Ethics entertainment strives to represent itself as an honest, trustworthy, and transparent company that values communication. Our customers can expect ethics entertainment to be open and approachable. All of our decisions are rooted in kindness, honesty, and integrity, and we are committed to aligning each of our actions to these standards, despite the difficulties we are facing. Last but not least, we're a premier music label that provides what our listeners want to hear. Ethics Entertainment is committed to remaining as a leader in the entertainment industry. Although problems may arise, we must still focus on our goal of excellence. Ethics Entertainment strives to collaborate with artists of various backgrounds, races, ethnicities, genders, sexual orientation, ages, and experience levels to create innovative and distinct entertainment that our listeners want to hear. We are always open to feedback from our customers on what we can do better. Even during difficult times, we must do our best and think of our listeners. The Ethics Entertainment Crisis Communication Plan will be reviewed and adjusted on an annual basis. If contact information changes, an updated document will be sent out to all team members. Changes or updates to the document will require a company-wide notification email to all team members to ensure that everyone is on the same page. This concludes my presentation on the preview of our crisis communication plan. Please contact me with any questions, clarifications, or suggestions, and I'll be happy to incorporate it into our plan.